Hello, this is your virtual life coach, Michael Lewis. And no, you don't have to be nice to everybody all the time. You don't have to always be careful not to hurt people's feelings. And yes, it is okay to say no sometimes. I've run into so many instances where it was like, please loan me a couple thousand for a few days. I promise I'll get it back to you. Or this is my pet chihuahua, Sadie. Ruth, isn't she nice? Isn't she cute? Is it okay if she stays with you until just I get back into town? She's no bother, really. Or of course, there's the classic. You've got a pickup truck? Wow, I'm moving this weekend, dude. You don't have to be afraid of hurting people's feelings by saying no, because, and I hate to say this about your friends, but they do know they can take advantage of your good nature and your your kind heart. I know I've been there and we are brothers. My good nature has been taken advantage of something like 9,872 times at last count, which is way above the national average. Remember, we are right now, as of like a month or so ago, eight billion human beings on this planet. And there's a good chance that at least one of them has a pickup truck available to help your friend to move or has nothing better to do this weekend than babysit their unhouse broken chihuahua. So I suggest you start easy. Just say the word no to no one in particular. If it feels more comfy, you can say no thank you. Say it a few times out loud and see if civilization as we know it ends. Then maybe graduate to your goldfish. Say no to your goldfish a few times and see if you detect any resentment or grumpiness from it. Is it holding back tears of dismay? No? Well, what a wonderful feeling. It's all about being honest with yourself and others. If you really don't wanna do something, if it's going to put you out of your way to do it, and then you go ahead and you do it anyway, you've betrayed yourself as a friend, yourself, yourself as a friend, your friendship with yourself as a friend, you. And you don't want that because unlike all those lovely people who know they can take advantage of your squishy cuddliness, you're the one that's going to be spending a lifetime 24-7 with you. And it's no fun spending a lifetime explaining stuff to yourself or worse still, wondering why you let someone take advantage of you yet again. So starting right now, are you going to say, okay, or yeah, or sure, I'll do that. When every fiber of your being screams, no, are you going to do that? Good answer. You got it. Excellent. You're on the road to the beautiful land of honesty, reality, and joy. And that's all I have to say for now. So until next time, love each other, take your vitamins, observe posted speed limits, play nice, and never lose sight of who you are. Never, never, never lose sight of who you are. So long for now.